What's up this morning, good people? It's your boy Carcino. Still ain't been to sleep. Pushing it, what, 19 hours now? My friend had an emergency, so I gotta help him out. Which explains why I'm up <laughs> at this time. Now, this is what friends do. Not me, of course. What were, what was one of the main things that uh, what I would call a detraction from what I heard yesterday uh, what I heard yesterday was pretty much an attention grab you know somebody who claimed to be a friend you know of Kwame Brown's decided to try to tear him down for views. You know, that's what they chose to do with their time. It was to tear them down. It's typical crab in the barrel behavior. You know, it's it's like, dude. You, you got a platform. You have you have the opportunity to make things better, you know. You have this opportunity to make everything better around you. And have an ally. People don't realize in this business you need allies. It's more valuable to have an ally than to be against somebody just for views. And if they see their views drop or something like that, like, like I, I got views off Kwame videos and some of them probably are not going to be as huge as they were. Like when they first hit, you know, for me, I'm cool with that. You know, I can't go my whole life talking about Kwame Brown. But, you know, there's other things I speak on, but I'm not going to sit here and start attacking everybody. That's why I think a lot of these people make their mistakes. I think a lot of them make their mistakes that way. <clears throat> they don't have any moral compass, man. They don't they don't do the necessary uh, things that it takes to be successful. They 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 take the short route. Me, I'm different. <clears throat> 
You know, we would love to do those type of views every day. But we know we're not going to get them every day. It's not realistic. But it is what it is. You know, you keep moving forward. What you don't do is fall into this. Like, you got Kwame number. You could have contacted Kwame Brown at any time and had a conversation with him and said, you know, hey, we're going to set up something we can do an interview. The Judge Joe Brown situation would have fell right in your lap. <laughs> you know, I'm like, dude, I, I really don't understand. Like, to me, it blows my mind that you would even have a problem like that. And it's not even a problem at all. This is just like for hitting for hits and views. That's it. I'm watching it and I'm like, man, this is all for views. <laughs> That's it. It's no real care. It's no concern. No, no focus on the message at all. Just go all around. And I said, man, it's pathetic. Because now it hurts your credibility. For anybody that's watching you, you just damaged your credibility. For views. Why would anyone take you seriously? I, I wouldn't. Look at what you just did for views. It's pathetic. And now I got to sit here and I got to endure this. People sending me clips saying, man, look at what he's doing. Look at what this guy doing. Then you got other clowns. But I'm not even talking about them clowns. Them clowns don't even know Kwame. You actually knew him. Like, spoke to him. Well, you had his number. These other guys, they don't even have his contact information. So, you know, it is what it is. some people when they get in power they their ego goes up another notch they they pat their chest a little bit they start to feel themselves it's like a peacock you know out there peacocking baby got a strut I mean, it's hard to look at them the same. Could you look at Captain Jack the same? I watched Captain Jack today, this morning. He was on um, one of those shows on um, Fox this morning. And when he was on one of those shock Fox shows that come on, I think the one with Nick Wright. He was in there capping for LeBron. And he had to get called out for it. I'm glad they called him out, but, you know, he playing the po politics game. Can't say nothing bad about LeBron on there. Even though he knows it's LeBron's fault. He ain't gonna say that too much at risk you know those teeth man they gotta stay white teeth ain't gonna stay white if you keep up, keep saying stuff teeth 
can't stay white. give too much attention to it because there's nothing really to give attention to. It's nothing to, real to really talk about. You know, lame, lame people are going to do what lame people do. See my buddy's car. His car went down. Oh, there he is. Oh. What's up? Hey, Kevin. Yeah, they're gonna check on it right now. Okay, so. So what you want to do? You, you want you waiting or? I want to see if it's if it, it is the problem. Let me. Uh, so how's everything? Oh, uh, it's all right. Just a bit exhausted, but that's about naturally what's going on. Nice. So he said he's gonna check it right now. Or? Yeah. You don't mind waiting for a bit? Um, or you gotta go. Well, how long are we waiting? They're just opening it right now, just the side. Take a couple minutes. Couple minutes? Okay, yeah, I can wait a couple minutes. Alright, I'm a park. I'm gonna find a parking spot. Get out of people's way. Yeah, see, this wasn't the plan. I, my plan was just to take him back to the crib. So this was not the plan. This is me waiting around for cars. It was not it. This was not part of the plan, man. Now, my thing is, why does, what I don't get is why he got to wait here. He can go home and hear, they can call him and tell him what the problem is. I need to go home and get some sleep. I'm 18 hours in, almost, shoot, 19 now. I, yeah, 19. 19 hours in. I think I've earned some rest. I got to update my Patreon. I can even drop my heat. Because mom's over here. Something hitting it or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> so, you gotta wait here, or is he gonna call you at home? Or? He said it takes a couple minutes. He's like underneath right now. Oh, so it take a couple minutes? Yeah. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, sorry, Kevin. I know you're busy, dude. Well, yeah, my mom's in town, so. I don't want my mom ransacking my house. Oh. 
When I come home, like if she's in my mail, <laughs> asking me questions. What is this? Yeah, I don't need her in the house by herself. Is it safe now since we've both have been vaccinated completely? With my mom, you gotta wear these all the time. Yeah. She bought this for me. Diana. <laughs> You're not gonna go out without a mask, you gotta get a mask. You're gonna have to get a brand new mask, too, on top of that. Yeah. Well, you know, she's not gonna let you in the house without it. I'm surprised she ain't spraying you down as soon as you oh, walk no, through the door. I can't touch anything. Like, once I go in the first door, which is um, our room, I take off my shoes, my shirt. She'll open the doors for me, turn on the water pots to wash my hands. Oh, wow. Put my clothes in, you know. Surprise, she ain't burning those clothes. <laughs> Burn them. <laughs> she ain't got that crazy. That's not good. Yet. <laughs> not yet. Guys. See, not yet. It's been hectic. So, what is she doing for work? Nothing. She still ain't made up her mind what she wants to do? Or? I mean, oh, like, first of all, they just gave her her state license or state ID. Okay. And all we have to do is pick it up at her mom's house, and she doesn't want to go there because obviously she has issues with, issues with her parents. She's like, I don't want to see my dad. I'm like, okay. And then how do you want to get your license? Your state ID. State ID. Because she needs her ID to get processed for her health insurance, we, which they're still pending on it. They already got the quote for it. She doesn't have a, a health insurance right now. I mean, can it get delivered to your house? Uh, well, we. I don't know how she has to, like, I don't know what happened. Like, she supposedly changed everything to my place. I guess she didn't do it for the DMV. So they still get, she still gets mail over there at her mom's house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you go over there and get it? Yeah, but then she's like, I don't know, I don't want her to talk to you. She kind of prevents me. I mean, like, I'm just going to pick up the mail. Yeah. <laughs> you need the ID so we can get this thing going on. This is ridiculous. I'm going to get the mail. You're going to have to just be assertive and just be like, look, I'm going over there. I'm just going to get it because you need the ID. I didn't talk to her. I just got the mail. I'm like, yeah, I'm here to get Diana's mail. And I'm trying to tell her to ask my mom if she can borrow her car for uh, the, the driving license, you know? Right. And then she's like, supposedly speak with my mom. She's like, no, she wants you to fix the car so I can go drive it with that car. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's not my mom. I got to talk to her to see what she really said. Right. It's like she's trying to push that to the side. I'm like, she can drive well. She has no problem driving. Yeah, I saw her driving perfectly when she drove past me. It's just that she gets the bad luck of the instructors. You know, that give you the final test. Yeah. And obviously they fail her because, first of all, the first one was an asshole. Didn't speak a speak of English. And some little dude. Oh yeah, you told me you had the same, same guy. guy. And I told her, don't get that guy. And I described her, described him perfectly. When she first got tried to get her license, that's the first guy she got, and she failed her instantly. Wow. Just like me. And she kind of, her uh, confidence went down a little. And then we had to build it up again. She went again. She met the guy that when I went the second time, I passed instantly. But she didn't get that guy. It was another dude. He was nice to her. He was talking to her like, yeah, you know, just take your time. You know, everyone has their own ways. And then she got this other dude, some guy in his 30s. He was a straight up asshole. You know, started yelling at her for no apparent reason, thinking that he, he didn't even say anything of how she was supposed to go or anything. He just started yelling at her like, oh, you're supposed to stop here. Or are you supposed to turn over here? To calling her off, like right in the last minute, you know? Right. Like I used to say, that guy was passing by. He was supposed to make a left, but the instructor never told her. He just yelled at her. Yeah. So he failed her. And then she just didn't want to do it anymore. Oh, okay. Yep. So we stopped. And the new year came in, told her again. No, I don't want nothing to do with it. Like, what the fuck? I'll do it in my own time. Because I kept bothering her, I guess. And she didn't want to do it no more. She had enough. Yeah. I know this is weird for you because you're normally at work right now. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I got things to do at my job. Had to yeah. be done. Like, I know it's only four days. This is, I took this day off, I won't get paid for the holiday. 
You don't get paid for it? If I take like a day off out of nowhere without like getting an actual day off. Yeah, I would have tried to go for this because it's the first day after the holiday. Yeah, I would have went to work. <laughs> then after work, and then I would have had to take that risk. Yeah, I didn't want to be broken down somewhere in the road and like, ah, fuck. Yeah. I didn't have to pay for a tow truck to come pick me up. Yeah, I just drove slow, but I had to get there today. I cannot miss out on my holiday pay. <laughs> That's like, what, three three days or two days? or No, you get that Monday. Did you guys have to go on Friday? No, I took a day off, actually. Oh, on vacation, oh. Vacation, they had a four-day weekend there. And it, wasn't, it didn't have any problems, you know? So that's when I changed the brakes, and then all of a sudden, it started making, like, that ruckus. Yeah, and once they start seeing that, they start getting red flaggy. But good thing they didn't, because you call in, they think, them, nah, he just wants an extra weekend, no. extra day for the holiday. And then I mentioned it to one of the mechanics that I worked over there that I had. There was some, some noises coming into my car, so he, he was my alibi. Wow, okay. So he would be like, nah, because he was talking about his car and making noises, and you know, I, think, I guess it was serious. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's hard to, to, come, to make her do things. Without making her like feel like I'm the enemy. Yeah, that's her defense mechanism. She turns to everything to because she just don't want to do it. Yeah. So she just turns it into like you're attacking her or pushing her to do it. That's just her defense mechanism because she don't want to do it. It's like last time when I was an asshole to her because like look, all this could have been prevented if you would have gotten your license. Like she started off when when you were like still married and, yeah uh, when I was 26 still and she was like what uh, 23 or 24 no 20 yeah 24 and uh, I told her like look all you need is your license and once you get your license it don't matter if we only have one car one car will, will make it anywhere all right we just have to pick and choose what jobs we have so you can go up and go our two jobs you know we'll do good and, okay and then you know obviously the the occurrence of getting the license happened and didn't work out, you know. Yeah. And then the next year, I try to tell her like, "Look, all we need, need this is this for you to get this license, and that's it. We'll be good, okay?" All right. But then she just kind of like pushed off to the side, not wanting to. And I said, "Well, you know, I think you really need it, you know." She's like, "No, no." So she just kept pushing it to the side, pushing it to the side until the point where I said like kept bothering about her and then she just started threatening me he's like well if you keep bothering me about it I'm not even thinking about doing it anymore wow. like, what so we need it I'm not doing it and then she just stops and because of her we just delayed and without doing anything you know that's bad that's real bad man and it took her a while now to actually have a what do you call it a workout system now she works out now she's starting today well yesterday she did a little bit but yeah oh. decided to start today so what is he doing oh he's still under the car doing the plate he's talking to his uh well the guy that i talked to his uh, boss the head mechanic pretty much Cool. All right. Well, let me know. I'll be over here. Okay. I'll go check over there then. All right. Yeah, marriage is tough, man. You get stressed out. You hear my man's stress. His wife don't want to do nothing, man. It's difficult. You know, it's real difficult. The pandemic that messed her up. She's uh, a germaphobe already, and this has really been hard on her. But as a defense mechanism, she does she creates these arguments so he could drop it. You know, because she knows that works. She's like, if I just like give him a thing, she, he, you know, but he got to just be assertive. 
I, I'm at, I'm like, dude, it's getting to a point now where it's like we need this stuff for to leave pressure, you know. So without it, it's like screw. You.